Hi everybody, my name is Danielle Nicole and welcome to Monetary Makeup. Today we are rocking out to a brand that is sold at Ulta and they have a brand new release. And that brand is called Rock and Roll Beauty. Now my understanding is this is a fairly new brand. I could be incorrect on that. Now I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I actually used to play lead guitar in a band. My dad is a musician, so we have a full family of artists or musicians. So as soon as I saw this Def Leppard or rock and roll collection, I knew I just had to test it out. Now I don't have every single item from the collection, but a few that we are going to be testing out today. So if you're excited to see how this rock and roll beauty brand performs, don't forget to hit the like button, the notification bell, and let's get started right now. So quick disclaimer, I am a huge 70s and 80s rock fan, so this collection is definitely a little partial to me. However, I will be, of course, totally honest with this review. Now, as I mentioned, I did not purchase every single item from this collection, but I will insert a screenshot. That way you can see what everything looks like. So the first item that caught my attention almost immediately was this Love Bites Def Leopard makeup bag. I mean, come on, how cute is this makeup bag? It says Love Bites and Def Leopard with a cassette on the back. And the size is actually pretty big. I can certainly fit a lot of my makeup goodies in here. Now, the second thing I picked up, which is basically just for aesthetic purposes, is this other Def Leopard blending makeup sponge kit. So this is something I will definitely not be throwing out. I think the packaging is so cute. So it says Def Leopard and it comes with three sponges. And this is what the back looks like. So this is something I will definitely be displaying in my beauty room. So I think they absolutely nailed it with the packaging on these two items. All right, enough about these items. Next, let's move on to the makeup. Now the two makeup items I picked up to review for today's video are the Backstage Pass Blush and Highlighter Duo and one of the eyeshadow sticks in the shade Let's Go. Now, I almost picked up the eyeshadow palette because the packaging was so adorable. But unfortunately, the color story was just something that I wasn't really drawn to, and I already had a few other items for display, so that's why I ended up passing on the eyeshadow palette. I will insert a picture of the eyeshadow palette here, that way at least you can see what it looks like. All right, next let's get started with application. So I hope you guys understand about me passing on the eyeshadow palette. I wish I could pick up every single item from every collection, but sometimes you have to pick and choose. All right, so all of my base makeup is on and ready to go. The only thing I don't have done are my eyes, blush, and highlighter. So you get 1.5 grams of product. I will put the price up on the screen. The packaging is super cute along with the rest of the collection. It has gold and black, of course, with a pop-off cap. Now these are not clicks. These are twist ups. So here's what Let's Go looks like in the tube. Now this shade appears to be a shimmer. There are no visible signs of shimmer or glitter in the actual stick. And I would describe the shade as a taupey mauve. Now there was another shade of blue that I almost picked up, but I have not found too many eyeshadow sticks where I actually really enjoy the formula. So I thought first let's test out the formula and then if I wanna pick up the other one, I can. I do have eye primer on. The one I went in with today is the one from Fenty. So I think I'm just going to swipe this across the lid and then do a little bit of blending with the brush. I wanna see if not only if these sticks are good quality, but I thought this shade in particular might be a good one and done shade. It is going on pretty creamy. I'm actually pretty surprised at how creamy this formula appears to be so far. Now, I would imagine that you don't have to do any sort of blending. You could simply do the swipe on like this and leave it, but I personally like to do a little bit of blending in the crease. So have you guys tested out anything from this brand? If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is the same brand that released the Jimi Hendrix collaboration. All right, well, that was pretty easy to blend out. Now this does have a little bit of grip to it, almost like a slightly waxy consistency. So it's not a super creamy formula by any means, but it's just creamier than I was expecting. That's probably because I've only tried a few eyeshadow sticks and those formulas would just pick up on themselves and they just weren't really any good. I'm gonna see if I can build this up a little bit more in the outer corner. So this stick is doing okay. What I will say is that it doesn't spread very far. 
So if you do pick these up, I would recommend really laying down the product almost exactly where you want it and then just buffing out the edges. All right, well, I do quite like the shade so far. So next, let's do with the lower lash line. So the unfortunate thing about the size of these sticks, while we're always happy to get more product, of course, is that I don't think this would work well for the lower lash line just because of the size. So I'm going to attempt to just go in right with this stick, but we'll see if it ends up being too large. So that actually worked out quite well. What I will say though is because of the size, it's definitely a much more smoky look. So if you're looking for more precision, then you might want to use a brush to do the application. But as far as a smoked outliner, did a pretty good job. Just taking a brush to blend out any harsh edges. All right, well, despite this formula being a little bit waxy, I do feel like it blended out pretty easy. Didn't give me any issues of picking up on itself or anything like that. It definitely does have a little bit of a waxy texture. However, now that this shade is all across the eyes, I do actually quite like the smoky effect it's giving. All right, well, not too bad for a first impression. Next, let's move on to the Backstage Pass Blush and Highlight Duo. So I know the formula, not necessarily the packaging is what we are here for. However, this is the cutest blush and highlight duo I've ever seen. It literally looks like a backstage pass, which is exactly what it says on the top, along with Duff Leopard, just standard pink on the back. But this front is too cute. You get 4.3 grams of product and I will put the price up on the screen. Now there's nothing more disappointing when you see very cute packaging and then you go to take the actual product out of the box and the original packaging is not on it. That's not the case with this. So exact same print on the front of the actual product. I'm going to attempt to not blind you guys with the mirror, but how cute is this product upon opening? So as you can see, it has a full mirror on the opposite side and it says, let's get rocked on the top. And the two different names are Heartbreak for the blush and Ride into the Sun for the highlighter. So here's an up close shot of the blush and highlighter duo. So once again is the eyeshadow stick in the shade Let's Go. Second swatch is the highlighter in the shade Ride into the Sun. And the final swatch is the blush in the shade Heartbreak. I've got to say you guys, I'm pretty impressed with that highlighter as well as the blush. Now I would imagine that this palette might be just a little bit too deep for my skin tone. However, I did feel that these shades were a little bit more suited as far as the actual undertone. So that's why I went with this one over the other. Going in with my Wayne Goss number no. three brush from his edit collection, dipping into the highlighter. Now I am going in with a light hand because we can always build up. Ooh, that is pretty. That has a very natural radiance. So the shade is definitely too deep for my skin tone as far as a highlighter goes, but as a bronzer or blush topper, this is very pretty. All right, let's match the other side. All right, well, yes, of course, you can tell that this is too deep for my skin tone, but I think when you have a nice peachy blush or even a bronzer, just applying a little bit on top, I think that would look quite nice. You know what, let's do this. Let me take a little bit of the highlighter and ride into the sun and apply that to the eyes. I didn't even think about using it on the eyes, but it's a great option when something does not match your skin tone. You guys, I know I look funny because of my bangs, but the one thing I have to say is that this highlighter, it does feel very creamy. I wasn't necessarily expecting that, so it's nice to know the formula is solid. So I'm just taking a little bit of the blush shade on the inner corner just to do something different. Let's see how this pop of pink will work. And let's take a little bit of the blush shade just across the center of the lower lash line. All right, well, I do quite like adding the pink across the lower lash line and a tiny bit on the inner corner just for something different. So next, let's move on to the blush to the actual cheeks. All right, same brush dipping into the blush shade. Wow, that definitely picks up a lot of pigment. Tapped off my brush. So I'm going to go in 
a pretty light hand. Ooh, that is pretty. Ooh, this is a very nice kind of medium cool tone pink. Now this blush and highlight, I mean, that definitely packs a punch. Holy cow. Okay, you guys, so this was going in with a super light hand and tapping off my brush. So I'm going to do a little bit of buffing. Be right back. All right, well, I'm hoping that Wayne Goss can save the day. I'm going to go in with some of his new setting powder. All right, let's see if we can get this to buff out at all. All right, well, I do think that this is as blended out as I'm going to get. So just keep in mind, these are super pigmented. All right, let me add a little bit of mascara and then I will show you up close what the final look looks like. All right, you guys, well, I just added a little bit of mascara in case you're wondering. I did go in with the new Tartlet Tubing Mascara with no primer this time. I know I did use primer in my last video, so just wanted to show you what the eyelashes look like with just this. But other than that, I have a lip oil on from ColourPop. So what do you guys think about this rock and roll beauty? Well, I have to say, you guys, I was very impressed with Rock and Roll Beauty for the very first time of using their products. Despite being a fan of Rock and Roll, the products were actually really great. And you know, the reality is, a lot of the times when brands have super cute packaging like this, sometimes the products don't really hold up to the hype. But this time, I do have to say, I love the packaging and the products equally. So let's start with the eyeshadow stick, once again, in the shade Let's Go. This was a very quick and easy eyeshadow stick to use. It blended out well, it didn't pick up on itself, and as far as the actual shade, this would be a fantastic one and done. I would just recommend laying down the product almost exactly where you want it, and then just going in with a brush to buff out the edges. And as far as this Backstage Pass blush and highlighter duo, you guys, this really surprised me. This is a great formula. So even though this palette is a little bit deep for my skin tone, I do actually like the undertone and the formula is phenomenal. So the highlighter blended out very silky, very buttery. There's no visible flecks of glitter or shimmer. It is just straight up sheen. And then the blush, you guys, this is probably one of the most pigmented blushes I have ever used. And I have to say, I'm not typically the biggest fan of matte blushes, but there's just something about the shade of this blush and the formula. Yes, I went in a little bit heavy handed, but this is a great blush. And not only did they kill the actual formula of the makeup, but the packaging, you guys, I feel like they absolutely nailed it. This is not one of those releases or collections that I feel like they just stamped their approval on it and sent it on its way. I feel like they did their research. I really love the aesthetic. Overall, big fan of this collection. So now I wanna hear from all of you guys down below. Are any of you also rock buffs like me? Have you ever heard of Rock and Roll Beauty? Have you picked anything up from this collection? Let us know all of your thoughts down below. All right, you guys, well, I had so much fun filming this collection. It really was everything I could imagine and more. I do hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for spending your time with me, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye, guys.